Tablas Creek, Paso Robles, California. This is the second wave of Roan producers from the Roan Rangers, but these are the people that really changed the game. This partnership was between the Haas family. Robert Haas was originally the retail Sherry Lehman in New York City, sold that to create vineyard brands, and was the first importer of Chateau de Beaucastel into the United States in the 60s and had a long partnership with the Perrin family of Beaucastel and Chateau Neuf de Pop. And they solidified that in 1989 by creating this vineyard called Tablas Creek in Paso Robles. They looked around for about 10 years in California and could not find what they wanted, which was both cool climate and limestone. And they finally found it in the Adelaide Hills of Paso Robles. And on top of that, they took all the cuttings from Chateau de Beaucastel, put them through the quarantine in the USDA, and propagated them themselves in their own greenhouses. And not only did they plant their vineyards with those themselves, but they sold those to anybody that wanted Rhone grapes. And they were some of the first available true Rhone varietals in California. And they've now given that uh, propagation to someone else, but they are typically referred to as the Tablas clones in California. And this is not a 100% wine. This is the top wine that they make at the estate for white wine called Esprit de Tablas, or Esprit de Bocastel from Tablas Creek. Uh, this is always a blend. They've tried to make 100% Roussan, but they really love it with a little bit of added zest and acidity from Grenache Blanc and Peak Pool. Those are usually the two blending partners that they have. Typically, Marsan is a, is a blending component, but here they really wanted that uh, added freshness from the other two grapes. So typically 70, 72%. This one is, uh, this one's 72%. And then a little bit of Grenache Blanc and 5% uh, Peak Pool uh, to freshen things up and give a little bit of tropical aromatics. So this is 2014, and this is just a, a, an idea of how Roussan starts to age. It's got a little bit more oxidized, honeyed yellow color and the wine is just fantastic. So on their website, they did a vertical tasting of 20 vintages in 2017 and took notes and you can actually kind of see how that wine goes and progresses over time and through nature. But this is a great example of Roussan from one of the leading producers of Roussan, both in France, uh, being the Chateau de Beaucastel, the Violigne White, uh, which is 100% Roussan, and uh, also in California as Tablas Creek. They're, run now by Jason Haas, who is the son of Robert Haas. Uh, he does an amazing job, and he farms everything organically and biodynamically since the beginning. And he's also a, a great writer and keeps a fantastic blog and uh, has really been instrumental in bringing Paso Robles to greater prominence in the wine world as well. So enjoy this library selection from Tablas Creek. <laughs>